yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? We back again. What's happening out there in them streets? I did it, y'all. I did it, and it's here. It's here. Wow, I've been working hard for this. Okay, this isn't gonna be your normal episode of mine, and tomorrow's video's not either, because I'm gonna make this a two-parter. So get your popcorn, roll one up, do what you gotta do, because this is gonna be a real deal, next level lemon peel. This is a straight up piece of Pokemon history, like museum quality that we're dealing with today. It's insane. It's gonna be, okay, first of all, you know what? Let's just look at these boxes. Let's look at them. Let's look. Boom, you see it. I, I received these lovely boxes in the mail today. Let's zoom in there. One of them is 32 pounds. One of them is 38 pounds for a total of 70 pounds of graded slabs. So let's get into them. Let me set you down for a second. Oh man. This is going to be insane, my peeps. I hope everything's good with y'all out there in the streets. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Christmas right around the corner. All right, we pop one box. Let's get in that second box. Oh, wow. So many of you know what's in here. Some of you do not. This is 11 sets, including subsets. 11 complete sets, including subsets of all Tops cards from back in the day. All Tops Pokemon cards. I'll go over the list of what sets exactly it is in just a moment. But first, let's look at these beautiful things. Oh my goodness. Let me zoom out here. Oh my goodness. So that's lovely. We've seen that image before. But not twice. We've never seen it twice. At the same time. Look at that. They packed this one different. Wow, that one's packed different. They had to really load that one up. Look at all those slabs. Wow. Okay, let's get the camera. Let's try and fix him up real quick. Pardon me. Bear with me. Okay. Wow, right? That is over 500 slabs. That is insane. Crazy. So this is what's included. Okay, ready? So there's the Topps Chrome Series 1. Then there's the Topps Foil Parallel Set Series. The Topps Foil Parallel TV Set Series. The Topps Regular Set Series. The TV Set Series. The Regular Set Series 2. The TV Sub Series 2. Subset Series. The Heroes and Villains Subset Series 2. The Mewtwo Strikes Back movie series, the Pikachu's Vacation movie series, the Stages of Pokemon set as well. The Evolutions of Pokemon, Stages of Pokemon. What? Let's start piling up boxes. Oh, goodness. Now, we are hoping to get... It's 518 cards, I believe, total. If I could walk away with 110s, that would be boss. I'm not sure exactly how they're going to grade these cards with them being older. I know that a lot of the cards are the Chrome series, and the Chrome series grades pretty well. The Those tops cards were good at keeping their sharp corners, at least up to this point. It's been, what, almost 30 years, but... 
So we could get lots of tens, I hope. Like I said, it'd be nice to get at least 100, but wow, let's walk away with 250, you know what I mean? Let's do over, let's do half. Nah, that ain't gonna happen, but you never know. Okay, now, it'd be really cool if these were in, because I, when I submitted them to them, they were in order of the sets, so it'd be really cool if, if that could remain, but I'm not gonna be too hopeful for that. So let's see what we start with. Let's start... Oh, we're starting with a 10 squirtle <laughs> what's up squirtle squirt what's up we are starting with a tops chrome squirtle 10 <sighs> what a blessing that is a good sign wow okay let's keep it going ah very next one's a nine <laughs> and they are not in order so that sucks so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to do a two part where we unbox all these and see what the grades are. And then I'll do, I'll put them all, I'll do another video where I put them all in order and we go over everything. Okay, let's do it. Let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, I didn't know how these were going to grade either. I was not sure. Look at that gleam. Look at Gary. Oh, Gary Oak. I did not know how these were going to grade. I've graded lots of tops chrome. And this is what I mean about, like, this is a regular TV animation card. And this is a hollow foil version of the same card. Now, when it comes to the cards that are the artwork from chrome, like this, from the original uh, TV series, those cards are going to have like three or four versions because there was the original series, then I have a hollow foil set as well, and then I have the chrome set. And some of those have variants. I have some variants in here. So we're going to see. Oh, they had to give my girl 8.5. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. If I know we're going to get some low grades, and it's not that important because this is just a piece of history, period. This is... When I, when I get all this put together in order and do that video, wow, can't wait. It's hard to get a high grade, a perfect 10 on the cards that are all holographic, so understandable. They gave the regular Jesse a 10. What up, girl? Okay, we got to start flying through them or this is going to take forever. Boom, they gave that James Hollow a 10 beautiful all these cards were very nice condition i mean mint, near mint to mint at the worst i'm pretty sure i didn't submit any cards that were below near mint jesse look at that meowth see these are crazy right you see you see these artworks and stuff i've we barely ever get to see these cards these artworks many of these i'm seeing for the first time pretty much other than when i submitted them <laughs> okay we're getting a bunch of lower grades what's up with that come on now i'm pulling i'm pulling out some stacks there we go 10 on top now really we want we really want the tens on the chrome set that is the most valuable of all the sets that we sent but still it'll be nice to get as many tens as we can and you know what i need to set my tens aside let me get that right get those tens over there so we can keep count oh they're stacking up they're stacking up okay let's do it Woo! Now these are going to be sideways. That's a 10. They're trying to pull Charizard out. If you don't know, he got his head stuck. Trying to help him. Keep on, bon, bon. Togepi crying. Hungry. Hungry little Togepi. Sleep. Oh, I'm not pulling my tens out again. Come on now, tighten up. 
See, there he is. He's got his head stuck. You gonna pull him out? You gonna help him out? Pikachu's vacation. Like he's getting ready to squash Meowth. Meowth's got a bomb for him. Gonna blow up. Okay, you see my dog Bulbasaur. Wow. Insane. Raichu did that. Raichu was the one that did the shocking. You don't know. That's a 10. Trying to chill. There's a good 10. Puffing out that chest. Why they want to mess with Squirtle like that? Boom. Brock's Volpix. Okay. That's dope. Boom, there's the hollow foil version. They both got 8.5s. How cool, though, when I have all of these completed and organized. Whew. All these sets. Ooh, I can't wait to get to the Chrome. There's Charizard. Woo, Blastoise. Okay, that's box one. We did all right. We got some tens. We got, we got a good little stack in the back. Let's do it, box two. Starting with a 10. A 10 Nidoran female. Eight point five Nidoking King Hollow. Nine Zubat Hollow. Okay, let's go. Boom, 10. Little Shan, little Shan Shro. Sand slash. What up, Nick? Ooh, they give it to us where it counts. All those other cards were not worth anywhere near as much as this card, and this one got the 10. That's how you want it. So we got Squirrel 10, Charmander 10. Come on, we need my dog, Bulbasaur. We got to get Bulbasaur in the 10. What's up? All right, Hollow Needle King. Ooh, there's a nice Hollow 10. And a regular. What's up? You see him gleaming. See, there will also be a chrome card with the same artwork. That's dope. All of them together graded. I think that's just so dope. I had to do it. Boom. We're getting some 10 scattered in there. At least it's not like no 10s. That would have sucked. <laughs> Because we're not getting a ton of them. We ain't doing too bad. Okay. Let's do it. There's a cool Zubat and Golbat hollow. Lots of nines. I'm getting slayed on some nines. Beautiful nine tails. Slaying me. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Okay, let's go. There's a ten. Old Clefable. Volpix 10. Hello. Volpix 10. Beautiful holographic 10 on that Volpix. A 3.5. <laughs> Oops. I didn't realize that. That one had a bend in it. Look at that bend. Like, yeah, you're sending in here. It's got a big old bend on it. Well, that sucks. But hey, yeah, that always, if you submit massive quantities of cards, that happens. You get a card in there that'll get a 6. And you'll be like... Everything I sent was mint. What, what happened? Sometimes you just miss it. 
It'll slip through the cracks, but they'll catch it when they're grading. Dang, that's two boxes already. Okay, that's two boxes. Let's go. We're going to open up the 32 pounder and then we'll open up the 38 pounder in the next video. Ooh, every time though, we are starting with a 10. That is so beautiful. It's a, is it a chrome? It's not a chrome, but it's a Tangela. I always like Tangela. Chancy. <laughs> okay, so the best card out of the entire 518 cards came back a dime. What's up? Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the most valuable card we submitted in this batch. I'm pretty sure there is a Techno Variant Gloom in here from Topps Chrome. But even the, the Gloom Techno 10, I don't think would be worth as much as this Charizard. Yes, and think about it, right? I sent in this collection. I only sent in one Charizard to get graded. One Topps Chrome Charizard. I had, I was almost got two and I ended up only getting the one. So this is like the flagship slab of the entire collection i'm going to take this collection and list it on ebay i'm probably going to start it at forty thousand dollars and allow offers and see what happens depending on the grades if we keep keep getting this number of tens especially with the chrome cards then that will happen if the grades are lower then it won't be so high but for the flagship card of all of those cards that i'm selling together to be a gem mint 10 charizard just glorious it's really nice i knew it was a beautiful zard i was like man that thing is clean please get the 10 Woo! so we got the charmander 10 and we got the charizard 10 where, where you at charmeleon dog let's see if he's next no okay it's not it was a nine that's why i was like no <laughs> i mean if it comes back a nine that's okay oh y'all seen the show you remember this sad scene this is when Ash first got Charmander. Some uh, the trainer who was at uh, Charmander's trainer at the time left him on a rock because he said he was weak, and he was bragging about it in the Pokemon Center. He was bragging about how he wasn't gonna go back and get him. He was just gonna leave him there. And Ash heard and got all in his feelings and went and uh, saved him. Long story short, and that's where he got his Charmander. But it was sad. It was a quite sad episode because Charmander was so neglected. Poor little Charmander. The show means a lot to me. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got Hitmonchan. Lick a tongue. What's up? Beautiful. Isn't this... Oh, no, that's the TV animation edition. Okay, I was about to say, isn't that series two on the Chrome? But for the TV animation edition, I believe there was just the one. I don't know. It's old stuff that we are not familiar with. That's part of the reason I dove in on this. I was like, I gotta get them. But here's a nice set. Here's the animation edition episodes. That's right after he ca caught Caterpie and Misty was so scared. Little Pikachu. That's when Ash first got Pikachu. Pikachu didn't like nobody touching him. If you didn't know, Pikachu's a boy. Didn't like nobody touching him. So Ash was like, come here, you belong to me now. And hugged him and got shot. Right, let's see, we got a little horsey, horsey. Kanga, Kanga, Kangaskhan. That was a good episode too, the Kangaskhan episode with Tommy. Tommy, right? Tommy, I think that was his name. Tommy, Billy. Tommy, do you know? What is it? Let me know. Are all of you okay? Are you all okay? Yeah, we good. Dime. Giant Tentacruel. That was cool. The giant Tentacruel came to like tear down the construction that was destroying their home. There's a lot that goes on in, in the show if you don't know it. Ash, like, died a couple times in the show, if you want to be technical. 
that was an awesome episode, except the huge Dragonite got scared away by Team Rocket. Ooh, my dog got a dime out of all these nines, and then my dog got the dime with Oddish in the corner. And Vileplume is my little stink puff. That's my little stink puff. Love Vileplume. But, uh, yeah, Ash gets drowns one time and gets saved by Dragon, uh, not, yeah, Dragon Air. Gets saved by Dragon Air. There's a 10 Cedra. In the original show, that's Misty's sisters. Those are all Misty's big sisters right there. None of them can fight like her. But, uh, in the show, um, in the original first season, uh, when he meets Ghastly Gengar and Haunter, 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 I love Haunter. More than Gengar, more than Ghastly. Haunter, 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 Haunter. Love Haunter. That's dope. But when he finds them, a chandelier drops on him and Pikachu and like basically like knocks them out, pretty much kills them. And then uh, Haunter and Ghastly and Gengar, they like go over and pull their spirits out of their bodies. And then they go floating around, flying around the city together. So that'd be a death. I think you would call that death. Some kind of weird Pokemon death thing. Ooh, a 10. You see it. Starting with a 10. Let's see what the other card was. Another one was trying to peek out. Ooh, double 10s. Because look what it is. We're in the Chrome. Man, I don't know what it was with these Topps Chrome cards. Now, Topps Chrome is expensive. There, there's multiple different variants. Like you have, this is the regular Chrome. Then you have Spectra is the next most valuable. And then Sparkle. And then Techno. There was uh, one of these cards, Techno version. A Charizard Techno. that Not that long ago. Like probably three months ago. Maybe longer. Time flies. That uh, sold raw, ungraded for like $13,000 for the one card ungraded raw just look every stack is a 10 <gasps> that's the techno that's the techno gloom and it's a 10 and right next to it is a, a spectra sandshrew and it's a 10 <laughs> i put on the button up y'all i put on the button up oh it's all 10s that's a that's a spectra um parasecta i love parasect parasecta we, we, we're getting into some money right now, y'all. We are getting into some money. This is why I said $40,000 for the entire thing because I knew I figured there'd be a lot of 10s on the, on the on this. All right, there's a couple sparkles in here. I should be able to show you all the variants, hopefully. So here's a Spectra. See how it's got... It's like the whole card's holographic, essentially. And if you look on the back, these will have in black lettering what they are if it's a regular card like this clefairy it'll have nothing because it's a regular variation if it's a spectra sparkle or techno it'll say look at the techno see how it says upside down but look at the techno is a dope like square square looking holographic like a bunch of little squares wow that is a techno gloom y'all that's worth a little money. Worth a little money. I didn't even see it. Did you see it before I did? I didn't even see it. Look what was underneath that gloom. Ooh. This is a sparkle, ladies and gentlemen. See? Sparkle. Sparkle. This is a sparkle gold bat, and it came back a dime. Ooh, we got some money. All the variants are worth money money good money not no little slim pickings but some good money all right there's quite a few spectras not the, like only a couple there was only the one techno i believe and there's not many sparkles maybe the only the one sparkle but there's quite a few spectras let's hope they're next 10 Ooh, beautiful raichu 10 look at that Ooh, that is just nice Ooh. It's got the nice blue and yellow background and border. The Pikachu did the same thing. Oh, we got it. We got the set. We got the 10 set. Wow, this is nice. Okay. 10. Ekans. 10. Firo. 
Oh yeah, all these sets, the 11 sets, including the subsets, only comes out to like 400 cards, I think, maybe even less, maybe 300 and something cards. There's a ton of doubles in here, and every one of the doubles, I'm pretty sure, yeah, every one of the doubles is a Topps Chrome card. So there's going to be a lot of extra Topps Chrome cards. I sent in a bunch of extras trying to get as many 10s as possible for this listing. Plus, I love Topps Chrome cards. I love Topps Chrome Pokemon cards. I just love them. See, like, here we're getting some doubles. Double 10. D triple 10. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Oh, we did it. I feel like... I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> I can't get them on screen together. Look, you gotta... But there's the Charmander. There's the Charizard. And there's the Charmeleon. Ooh. Wow, that is lovely. And so far, we've only seen the Squirtle, I believe. And it was a 10. So we need to keep on moving with that. There's a big, lovely stack of 10s. Venonat. I love Venomoth, by the way. A lot of people don't. I love Venomoth. Flying, it's green. I don't think technically it's a grass until you get later on. But uh, it's it has all these psychic attacks. You know what I mean? It's just a beast. It's a big old moth. I love moths. Not that long ago. I know that sounds weird, but not that long ago, we caught a bunch of caterpillars. Well, we didn't catch a bunch of caterpillars. There was a whole bunch of caterpillars on our parsley. We were growing some parsley. So I netted it up, put put a tomato cage around it, and then put pantyhose around that, and made sure they had water and stuff, and they straight up crystal, turned into their chrysalis, like I knew they would, of course, and we had a bunch of beautiful butterflies, like 10 days later. That was cool to do with the kids, with my kids and my wife, and release them into the wild. With all these tens, I am a man of tens. There we go. Stink puff. Oh man, these tens are so gorgeous. There's an eight. It happens out of nowhere. It just shows up. Always happens. Golbat five. There's a five. It must be creased somewhere. It's gotta have like a indentation or ah oh, the spectra of Volpix only got a seven. Why you wanna do it like that, dog? Dang. It's okay. All right, here's a lot of tens. There's four more boxes in the first box. And the first box is six pounds lighter than the other box. I wonder if some of these might be empty. Oh yeah, the first one. Right? Yep, the first one's empty. Okay, this one's not. Oh, this one's full. Let's put it in right there. Oh, and this one's full. This one's like a halfy, so we'll go ahead and burn throw him. That's how they do it. They pack it full of shoe paper that you get from your Jordans. <laughs> That's my dog. That's my dog. <laughs> okay, let's 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 do this. Let's go. Let's do this, Brutus. Ooh, let's go. Venusaur Dime. Dime got the 10. I hope the Blastoise. Man, my dog Bo is only got a 7. What's up with that? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> you live. You live to fight another day. What's up, Misty? A little 9. 9 piece. 9 piece. 8.5. What do you think about these artworks, y'all? And these old holographics, the old hollow style. What do you think about this set? A lot of people don't like the Topps cards. Back in the day, I remember... I remember back in the day when Pokemon... When I was first ripping packs. You know, way back in the day. I mean, Jungle might have been the newest set out. But I can remember getting packs. <laughs> and now and then I would get like some Topps packs of Pokemon cards. And be like... Thanks. <laughs> No, I would act like I was happy, I think, if I had to guess, but 
And I was happy, of course, but they just weren't considered the same as the Wizards cards, the Wizards of the Coast cards. If you don't know Wizards of the Coast, WOTC were the original people to print Pokemon cards and stuff. And then I forgot exactly why, but for some reason, they ended up losing the contract or they they parted ways or something. Nintendo took over or something like that. Okay, so that box only had 110, but it was Venusaur. Venusaur! If you haven't seen the Mysterious Garden in Season 1 of Pokemon the Show, man, that's my favorite episode. But it's... Oh, let's see if we can keep it up. Boom! Every box we've started with a 10. That's crazy. Um... That's my favorite episode. Oh, and it's a, it's a Spectra B Drill 10. Wow. That's my favorite episode, but I do have a lot of episodes that come in close behind it. Uh, if you watched, if you haven't seen season two, but you have seen season one, you ought to watch season two is bang. It's got a lot of good, great moments and episodes. Okay, so we'll start with that Spectra Beedrill 10. And a regular bee drill. Hello. Ten. And a regular bee drill. <laughs> ten. Let's see. Kakuna. Kakuna ten. Some of these are gonna have a ton of, of duplicates. Kakuna ten. Kakuna nine. Mr. Nine. I I put a ton of time. A ton of effort into hunting down these cards in this condition. A ton of money into hunting down these cards in this condition to submit. I've been working at this for a while. That's why when I got... Th just getting this graded, the bill to get these... This, these 70 pounds, 518 cards was uh, just under like $5 or $6 under $4,500. Okay? Just to get them graded. And I spent more than that to accumulate them. I got some money in here. But I love it. It makes me so happy. Look at that Pidgeot 10. In the original movie. I know, I keep throwing out all these facts. I can't even help it. In the original movie, the first movie, when they're introducing themselves in, in the place after Mewtwo rebuilt it, one of the guys says, Hurricane breezes, or Hurricane winds are a breeze for Pidgeotto here, but it's a Pidgeot sitting there, not a Pidgeotto. It was a Pidgeot. I guess it's techni I mean, technically possible that he might have named his bird Pidge Pidgeotto. So then even after it evolved, he still called it Pidgeotto, but I doubt it. I think they just made an error when they filmed it. All right, we got a Weedle 10. Oh, and speaking of errors in that movie, here's another error. Um, there's a point in that movie when... Look at all these beautiful tens. There's a point in that movie when... Um, the clone machine... Oh, there's a Spectra Metapod 10. The clone machine is going off, and Jesse and James are doing the... Who's that Pokemon? And they start off saying... I think it's Alakazam. Alakazam! But it's a picture, an image of Scyther. Unless I'm losing my mind. Boom! Look at all those tens. Ooh. The ten pile, I think. Because we got all these chrome cards. I think the ten pile is whooping the other pile. Did I go through this one? No. Nope. I haven't gone through that one. I just didn't know because I've already gotten so many ten Firos in there. Okay. Did I do that one? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. All right, there's a Caterpie 10. Caterpie 7.5. No big deal. But then, bam! Ooh. The last one of these I got graded came back in 9. So for me to finally get the 10. I got the 10 on the Venusaur, the Blastoise, and the Zard. Blah. What's up? I feel so blessed, you guys. And that 8.5 on the Ivysaur, but that's okay. Blastoise, Venusaur, Charizard, 10. All the big ones, 10. Whew. Okay. This is the last box of this video. The last box inside the first box, the smaller one that was only 32 pounds. 
Let's see. Did we do it? We did it. Every single box was a 10. The first card. Oh, man. Look at that. Mm. And they are nice, too. These things, I vetted the crap out of these. These are nice. Well, the vast majority of the, uh, the cards that weren't chrome, I didn't vet as much. Okay. We started with that average. We got that 10 again. How beautiful. 10 Spectra Abra. Wow, that's lovely. 10 Polyrath. I don't know if I've ever even seen one of these. 10 Polywhirl. Love Polywhirl. Boom! Just a little Polywog. Got a 10 on that Spectra Polywog. Ugh. Ugh. 10 on the RK9. <laughs> Only 8.5 on the Growly. On James, little Growly only got an 8.5, but that's okay. All right, let's go. Do it. Try me. Minky got a 10, okay. Sign up, got that 10, what? Persian 10. Doug Trio 10. Polywog 10. I love these Chrome cards. Gold up 10, 10. There's my dog. Got him off 10. Ooh, got that Diglett Spectra. We're getting a lot of 10 Spectras. That is just, wow. Ooh, War Turtle 10. War Turtle. War Turtle's actually, for some reason, pretty hard to get. Hard to come by. Compared to the many of the others. Okay. Eight. The last stack. Go. Golem got a nine. Seven point five. Ten. On the geo dude dude dude. Geo dude dude dude. Nine on the graveler. Ten on the victory bell. Ten on the ten of cool. He said he cool. Ten on the bell sprout. Nine on the leaf mill. Ten on the machop. Machop's got a cool coloring background. Ten on the Machoke, baby. Ten on the Kadabra. I just sold one of these for like 45 bucks or something like that. Alakazam. Which really, I hate to, I hate that I sold it so cheap, but I needed the money from my last big sale to pay for the, to pay off the end of this submission. Boom, that's it. So, for this vid, this box, should I say, let's find out. Let's do it real quick. Let's see... If we got, I think we, I think we got more tens than we did not tens, and that's a blessing. And I'm hoping the other half will be the same way, because the other half, I'm not sure how many chrome cards were in this half, but there were a lot of cards that weren't chrome, and I sent mostly chrome. And chrome are the ones that are a little bit easier to get the ten on usually, because they just stay nice. At least up to this point. I have seen some chrome cards that are starting to kind of like blow out at the edges. Which is something that happens to older cards. Depending on the type of card and stuff. Like older sports cards do that for sure. Big time. Oh man that is close. That is close. I might actually have to stack them. I think we'll just call this one 50-50. Let's see now. We got to find out now. Now we have to know the truth. <laughs> okay. Boom. That's it. That's, yeah, that's it. We definitely got more tens because check it out. We've got four tall piles and one little one versus three tall piles and two kind of medium. So boom for the first box, the 32 pounder. We got over half of it 10s, probably 60% of it 10s. So that's beautiful. I hope everything good with y'all out there in the streets. I hope you enjoy this as much as I have been because, wow, this has just been amazing. Straight up piece of Pokemon history. If they had a Pokemon, I hope they probably do have a Pokemon museum. I mean, this right here could be in it. Slabbed up in cases for everyone to go through and look. We're going to go over it. Don't worry. We're gonna, I'm going to make an episode going over it, but... 
we the next episode that i drop will be the second half the other box so don't miss it you feel me if you haven't already like subscribe show your dogs some love what's up i hope everything great with y'all out there in them streets until next time peace